Welcome to the mini skirt makeover workout. Let's get started. Single leg circle, pelvis in neutral, T-zone, extend the right leg up and turn it out from the hip joint. Exhale, take the leg away from you. Inhale, circle the leg around and back up. Exhale to take the leg away and inhale to come back up. Keep that pelvis still. The T-zone stays tight throughout. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, take the leg down. Inhale, circle the leg back up and around. You should be feeling this in the T-zone and also in the thigh. Exhale to take the leg away and inhale to bring it back up. Make sure there's no rocking through the pelvis. Keep those abdominals working. And resting down. Okay, let's take the other leg up towards the ceiling now. Turn it up from the hip joint. Exhale, take the leg away from you and inhale, circle back up and around. Breathing out to go away and in to come up. Keep the pelvis still, keep it in neutral. T-zone will be tight throughout. Exhale to go down and inhale to come back up. You should be feeling the T-zone holding you stable. Should be working nice and hard along with the thigh. Doing well, let's keep it going. Exhale down, inhale up. And one last one. And replace the foot back down onto the mat. Toe taps, lying on the back with the knees in tabletop position, imprinted spine. T-zone, exhale, lower one leg and tap the toes to the floor. Inhale, return the leg to tabletop. Exhale, tap the other foot to the floor. Inhale, return the leg back up. Exhale, tap the foot. Inhale, return. Exhale, tap the foot. Inhale, return. Keep the back imprinted, the abdominals working hard, the T-zone tight and the tummy flat. Inhale and exhale as we go, keeping those shoulders relaxed. Now to make it easier, you can tap the foot closer to the buttocks and to challenge, you can tap further away. Just make sure that the back stays imprinted and we don't want any arching through that lower back. So exhale to tap, inhale to return. Let's do six more. Keep the abdominals working as hard as we can. And three, two, one, and resting, feet back to the floor. Moving on to abdominal curls. Lying on the back with the feet on the floor or up in the tabletop position. Spine imprinted, hands behind the head. T-zone, exhale, curl the ribs to the hips, flattening and scooping the abdominals and inhale, releasing back down slowly. Exhale, T-zone and curl up, crunching those abdominals. Inhale, release back down. Make sure you use the abdominals to draw you up and not the arms and the neck. Keep the elbows wide and the chin tucked close towards the chest. You should feel this exercise in the abdominals. Exhale to curl up, flattening and scooping. Inhale and back down. Reset that T-zone each time before you curl and squeeze the knees together to maximize the abdominal workout. And let's do two more, breathing out to curl up, in to go down, last one, and resting the feet back down to the floor. Hundreds. On the back and tabletop position, spine imprinted, inhale T-zone, Exhale, curling up, sliding ribs to hips, lifting head and shoulders, extending the legs and reaching the arms past the hips. Hold this position, pulsing the arms up and down, breathing in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and out, two, three, four, five. Breathing in, keeping the T-zone tight, keeping the back imprinted. Each time you breathe out, let's flatten and scoot those abs. Eyes on the knees, chin tucked in. Really squeeze those knees together and keep the abdominals flattening and scooping, shoulders down and back. Remember if the neck gets tired, place a hand behind the head. Let's keep it going, squeezing those tummy muscles. Let's do 30 more, breathing in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Abs should be really working. Let's keep curling up, flatten those abdominals. Well done and release back down, feet to the floor. 
Scissors, lying in tabletop position, spine imprinted, T-zone, exhale, extend the legs up towards the ceiling, arms reaching past the hips. Inhale, T-zone harder, exhale, lower one leg, inhale to change, exhale to lower, inhale change, exhale split. Only take the leg as low as you can, maintaining the T-zone and the imprinted spine. Keep the eyes on the knees, shoulders down and back. You can support the head with the hands if you need to, or pop the head back down onto the mat. You should really feel the abdominals working to keep that back nice and flat. To challenge, take the leg lower. To make it easier, don't go down as far. Let's do four more. And resting back down. Crisscross. Hands behind the head, knees in tabletop position, spine imprinted. T-zone, exhale, curling up, rotate armpit towards the opposite knee and extend the leg out. Inhale, return to the starting position. Exhale, rotate to the other side. Inhale, release back to the center. Exhale, curl and extend the leg. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl and extend. Inhale, release. Make sure the pelvis stays still on the mat Use the abdominals to curl across and not the neck and the arms. Keep the elbows wide and the spine imprinted onto the mat. You should really feel this one through the abdominals. Remember to challenge, you can take the leg a little lower. To make it a bit easier, we can take the leg a bit higher. So we keep curling across using those abs. Let's do six more. Breathing out and in and out. Feel those abs crunching. Flatten and scoop the tummy. And three to go. And two. Last one. And resting back down. Crisscross scissors. Hands behind the head, knees in tabletop position, spine imprinted. T-zone, exhale, curling up. Lift the head and shoulders, extending the legs to the ceiling. Inhale, tighten the abdominals. Exhale, rotate the upper body and lower the other leg away. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, rotate other way. Inhale to come back. So we exhale to rotate across and inhale to come back to the center. Lowering that leg down only as far as you can without losing your imprint. We don't want the back to arch. Keep that pelvis still on the mat and keep the T-zone tight. Elbows wide, really feel those abdominals working. To challenge, you can take the leg a little bit lower. Keep breathing out as you rotate. Four to go. Really feeling those abs now. This is a tough exercise. And last one. And back down to the rest position. Tease up. Lying on the back with the arms and legs outstretched. T-zone. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. Exhale, roll the body up and lift the legs up simultaneously to balance on the tailbone. Inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, roll back down nice and controlled, lowering the legs and arms to the mat. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, roll up onto the tailbone, reaching forwards. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, roll back down, control to the mat. Inhale, arms. Exhale, lift the body and legs, hands pointing to the feet. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, slowly roll back down. To make this easier, Try with the knees bent the whole time. Squeeze the knees together at all times to help you roll up and down and really keep those abdominals drawing in. We wanna feel the tummy working to roll up and down. Another preparation for this is to just practice the balancing up in the teaser position with either the knees bent or the legs straight. And you can just hold there as long as you can and then rest the feet down for a little break. Let's try four more of the full ones. Let's keep it controlled, keep the abdominals working, the knees squeezing together. Keep those shoulder blades down as we get tired, they'll wanna creep up to the ears. 